Welcome. I'm Dr. Frank Summers of the Space Telescope Science Institute. Let me show you one of my favorite places in Hubble's universe. We begin at the constellation of Orion. In mythology, Orion is the hunter. This 1690 drawing by Johannes Hevelius depicts him fighting Taurus, the bull. The stars of Orion are bright and easily recognizable by their X-shaped pattern. The three stars in the center represent Orion's belt. Hanging down from the belt is his sword. Within the sword are several clouds of glowing gas, called nebulae. The largest is poetically referred to as the Great Nebula in Orion. The Orion Nebula is a bowl-shaped structure carved by winds and radiation from hot stars. This image from the Hubble Space Telescope captures the nebula in amazing detail. The group of hot young stars near the top provide the stellar winds and the high energy radiation that carve the bowl shape of the nebula. An earlier Hubble image showed the details of the region near these hot young stars. The four bright stars are called the trapezium. These stars are massive, hot, and young, only a few million years old. In contrast, our Sun is about five billion years old. The energetic ultraviolet light from these stars heats the surrounding gas and makes it glow. The stars also emit strong stellar winds that help push away the gas. Evidence of these stellar winds can be found well away from the trapezium. This star, named LL Orionis, shows a long curved bow shock where stellar winds and radiation are blowing back the gas around it. Back in the trapezium, we find some strange tadpole shaped objects. Their tails point directly away from the largest star, Theta-1 Orionis C. There are many of these objects, called proplids, which is a contraction of protoplanetary disks. Within each proplid, gas is collapsing to form a star. The gas feeds onto the star from a disk, and within that disk, planets form. This scientific visualization imagines what it might look like if we could peel back the outer layers to see the planetary disk and newborn star inside. Farther away from the bright stars, we find the evidence that confirms these ideas. This is the dark silhouette of a disk of material around a forming star. Here are two others where we can see the stars have just turned on at the centers of their disks. We can now see other planetary systems in formation. These are perhaps the very beginnings of solar systems like our own. Yet the proplids in the trapezium offer us a cautionary tale. Their tadpole shapes are created because the wind from the nearby massive star blows back the gas and dust to form their tails. This is why all the tails point away from the most massive star. The gas and dust that is collapsing to form stars and planets is also being blasted away by the huge stellar wind right next to a massive star may not be the best place to form a planetary system. These Hubble images provide us with insight into both the amazing details 
and the energetic dangers of star and planet formation. Within the whole Orion Nebula, several thousand stars are being born, with perhaps tens of thousands of planets. So when you look at Orion in the night sky, try to pick out that fuzzy star in his sword. And remember, it provides us with the grandest view of star and planet formation anywhere in the universe. It shows us what our sun, and indeed our whole solar system, may have looked like about five billion years ago. I'm Frank Summers, this tour through Hubble's universe.